everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Tandy today we are going to be watching Amelia Clark loses it at Phoebe Waller Bridges ridiculous story the Graham Norton's good story guide um Phoebe Waller Bridge obviously Fleabag uh Amelia Clark from um me before you I'm joking obviously most people know her from um what was the dragon show the dragon the dragon thing what was it called? Oh my God, I'm completely blanking on the name of the, the dragons, something dragons. Fuck. Game of Thrones, fucking hell, that took, it doesn't even have, it doesn't even have dragons in the, in the title. Um, I've never seen Game of Thrones, I just, just not my thing um anyway subscribe if you're new and you have a recommendation or something that you'd like to see me re react to uh i do prior prioritize the subscribers recommendations first so make sure you subscribe and yeah let's have a look i've, I've had so many regrets about telling you guys about this story <laughs> <laughs> i remember sitting next to Phoebe do tell. bridge i remember talking to her before the show and she said so i'm going to tell the story and i don't know what i don't know if i should i don't know if this is because uh, I'm just worried about my mind, you know. I I I don't know what people will think of me because it's it's quite. Is this a they bad story? Me. And she sort of told me what the story was. And I thought this is a great story. It's a perfect Graham Norton show tale. Backstage, there are some japes with actors, you know. Sure, sure, sure. You know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they keep the other actors kind of uh, um, uh, entertained when uh, it's a really long run. And uh, I'm really sorry. Mum, that I'm telling this story. Oh. Um, and there was one, I was doing Hay Fever and it was a three month run and uh, there was one moment, <laughs> there's one moment on the stage where I was off stage with this other actor, Sam, and one of the other actors played by, uh, one of the characters played by uh, Freddie Fox would storm across the stage, open this door and we'd be standing behind the door, you know, masked from the audience and he had I to like go, Freddie <gasps> Fox. And then he'd slam the door and run back onto the stage. And so we always used to do something kind of quirky behind the door to make him <laughs> laugh. And uh, every night, and we started off by doing a little like, ooh, like we're kissing, or like, oh, we put a funny hat on Sam. But it was three months long, this run, and we had to <laughs> up the game every night, every single night. And so we started getting the stage management involved, and there were massive like hot dog costumes, and like, we brought people from outside to come in. So every time Freddie would open the door, he'd be like really excited, and he'd be like, ah! and then we'd be like, ah! and then we had to change really quickly, and then run onto the stage, and the other cast members could see it. And it was building and building, and we were running out of ideas, and there was like a week left, and we were exhausting ourselves and then suddenly it was getting to the last night and we were like we have to have a big finish like what are we going to do for freddie and neither of us could think of anything and suddenly we did the matinee and we'd done this kind of wild kind of like spangly glittery thing and then on the final performance we had nothing and we were like we have to do something we have to do something we could hear freddie coming across the stage and we were like we haven't thought of anything <laughs> sam just said just just I know, I've got it, but just show them your asshole. <laughs> oh, what? And I was like, I was like, what? That's awful. He was like, it's brilliant. The stage management around me going, perfect. You're actually your asshole. That is not brilliant. <laughs> Do that. And I was like, really? And they're like turning me around. And I was like, it's this huge pink skirt on. No, it's a horrendous story. <laughs> and they have this huge pink skirt on. And everyone's like, it's going to be great. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be great. Oh my God, what's happening? And I was leaning down. And then he was running on, and I was like bent over with stage management like ah. and then he opened the door and Freddie just went oh oh yeah I was standing there like oh god everything's gone quiet and then I turned around and I saw like the glitterati of the London stage like Olivia Coleman, Lindsay Duncan, Kevin McNally all going yeah too far yeah I would think so well told well told bravely told it's gone now. I would just say no from that. I said no. I, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not flashing anything. I don't care about the big finish. <laughs> but that's a big finish. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I don't know what's happened to this. This TV it has the stupid thing of like um, the voice activated shit. So it just comes on. It's very irritating. Sorry about that. Uh, it doesn't normally happen. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and like and comment. Um, uh, that took me forever to get that. Obviously, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is, is great. Didn't she write that Killing Eve? I've never seen Killing Eve either. 
I was just saying a uh, flea bag. What are you guys watching now? Uh, obviously, Freddie, 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 what's his name? Freddie Fox. He is really good in Slow Horses. That's really good. I do recommend that if you like, if you're not watching anything and you like to watch something good. At the minute, I'm watching uh, Sugar on Apple TV Plus, and that's, um, I'm only on episode three. So if you are watching it, please don't spoil it for me because I know that there's supposed to be some sort of twist. What are you watching? What do you recommend I put on my list to actually watch? Not on the channel, just in general. Put it in the comments and um, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.